kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I will be teaching you on how you can use the retrofit library to connect your applications to the backend database like the my uh, the MySQL database using the PHP scripts. So let's get started. So, guys, first of all, I will show you how we can log in the user, and then I will also teach you how you can register the user. Uh, I mean inserting the values inside the MySQL database using the PHP script and also in this in this video series we will be we will be learning a bit about the PHP language and so let's get started so first of all I want to show you a short demo of how this series will continue and what you are going to learn in this series so let's get started so as you guys can see that I already have uh, connected my device with this laptop and yes now you can see email and password so i can click on uh, sign in and there is also an option of uh, sign up so if i click on uh, sign up so there you can see i can write the email uh, let's say we can write harun at gmail dot com then i set the username as harun then we have the phone number one two three four five then we can have the password as p a double s w o r the password and also i have the password as s so also you can see uh, we can show the user and uh, the password and hide it okay and now if i click on sign up so you can see successfully inserted the data so if you want to see the data so open your mysql and from there we will have this my tutorial db and inside this you can see we have this uh, student table and if we click on the student table so there you can see at this we have uh, harunajimal.com and all the information okay so all the data is stored inside this uh, PHP MySQL and so I we will be teaching you okay so now we can easily log in so for the login let me just close the app and open it again and if I want to log in so we can say harun at gmail.com and we have the password let's say add some random password and click on sign so you can see error could not logged in user not found please create your account okay so if i write the correct password so if i click on sign in so you can see user logged in successfully okay so they in there you can see there is all the information of the user but the user cannot change his email okay so this is our rule and you can see harun the name uh, the the username password and the phone number and the password okay so we will store these four values the email then we will store the username then phone number and the password so if there is also an option to update so if let's say i want to update the phone number to 915558 and if i want to update so yes the user updated successfully so if i close the app and also i show you here let's just refresh it and there you can see the phone number has been updated all right so that is it so also i want to show you some other things so if i click on this text view so you will be able to see all the users so basically we are fetching all the data from the table all right so we i will also do that in our part 3 of the video series so guys let's get started so let's create the new project in android so you have to just follow me create an empty project and make sure that you do not select the use android x artifacts because i am not using the android x so you have to use the api 28 okay so you have to unselect it uncheck it and let's name our application as youtube php tutorials 
okay and we have to store the project let's say in here and let's write youtube php tutorial all right and make sure that you select java as the language and click on finish All right, so now our project has been created, but for the main activity, we need to rename it for the login activity because we want to open the login activity first. So let's click on refactor, rename, and let's write login activity and click on refactor. And also we need to refactor the XML file for this so we can say activity underscore login okay so now we have this login so here I will just have a basic layout so for this we first of all can say we need to change it to relative layout then remove the text view and here we need to use some edit text so for this we can say match parent and wrap content then we have the ID as edit text email then we can have we can say like hint and hint will be email and for the password we can say match parent wrap content then we set the id as edit text password so also we have the hint like password text we have the input type as text password and we need to make it to below edit text email okay and we need to have the margin top to 20 dp okay so now we have the email and the password and then we need to use a button for this for the login so we can say button match parent then we will have wrap content then we need to make it below the edit text password then we have margin top to 20 dp then we set the text as login then we can okay so now there should be another button for the log uh, for the registering the user so for this we can say button match parent wrap content then set the id to button register then we need to make it below the okay so let's set the id here button login and we need to make it like below button and then we can say margin top to 30 dp and let's set the text to register all right so now we have the email we have the password and we have the login button and we have the register button here Alright, so now let's create another activities and that activity will be the register activity. So we click on empty activity. Okay, so we will be doing the register activity mm -hmm. later. So first of all, in this video only, we will be doing the login activity. Okay, so how we can do that? So, okay, so let's just create the activity. I will divide this uh, video series into four parts okay four or five parts so here uh, we can write register activity 
okay so now we have this register activity and yes okay so for the login activity okay so first of all we'll let's add some libraries for the R project so since our project will be using the recycler view the card view then our project will be using the butter knife because we I always use butter knife library so for the butter knife we can say implement implementation and for the butter knife we can say com dot jack button butter knife 8.5.1 then we have annotation processor then it will be like com dot jake worthen butter knife compiler and it will be 8.5.1 okay so now we have integrated the butter knife library then we need to use the card view and the recycler view so for this we can say implementation com dot android dot spot and we can say card view v7 then we have the 28.0.0 then we can say implementation com dot android dot spot then we have the recycler view v7 and then we will have 28.0.0 okay so now we have the button knife the card view and the recycler view okay so now we have to use the design library okay so i think we don't need the design library but we now we need to use the retrofit so for the retrofit we can say implementation sorry guys com dot scare up dot retrofit to semicolon retrofit and 2.4.0 then we need to use the retrofit converter so for this we can just copy it and we can say com dot scare up dot retrofit to dot converter json and we can say 2.4.0 then we need to use the json so for this implementation and we can say com dot google dot code dot json json and we can say 2.6.1 okay so guys let's just click on sync now okay so i think there is some mistake inside our recycler view okay so we did the mistake and now we can click on try again and yes all the libraries have been added successfully okay guys so i think that is enough for this video i will continue in my next part of the video so if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye